What would I do if I had to start all over again at the age of 14 years old? I had no money. I had no real world business experience. I had no idea what to do. Well, using the knowledge that I have now and that I've gained over the last 11 years, I have a pretty solid idea of what it is I would do. And I want to talk to you about that in this video. I want to go over that plus a few extra awesome nuggets. But before we do, if you haven't already subscribed, my name is Shimmy Morris. Hit that subscribe button. I make new videos pretty much four times a week now. And I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but my likes have gone down. I was getting like a decent amount of likes, but they've gone down and uh, we've got to change that. We've got to get that back up. So hit the like button if you are interested in this video, if you're liking this video so far, I know it's been 20 seconds, but besides that, let's get right into it. So what is it I would do? One simple words, YouTube. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go into a bit more detail. I feel like I've just dropped a bomb on you. Uh, I want to go into a bit more detail and uh, create like this roadmap for you. So it starts when I was 14 years old. Here is 14 year old me. I know I look about eight. I was quite a cutie pie, not gonna lie. Well, being 14 years old, I would tell myself I don't need money. In fact, what I'd rather do is build something now so that by the time I actually do need money, it will be big enough to start paying me. And I know instant gratification of actually having money to buy the latest Nike crepes, whatever they may be, seems important, but in the real world, it's not important and there was just so many better ways and so many better things that you could be doing. And, and by the way, don't worry, in this video, I will still tell you how you can make instant money if you wanted to, being 14 years old and in school. Then the best thing to do is selling food, sweets, chocolate in school, which incidentally is actually something I ended up doing when I was 14 and 13 and 12, all the way till I was about 17. And um, basically it was, a, I had a whole massive, I had a whole production going on in school. I had multiple lockers. I had teachers on the payroll, you know, all of it, you know, the whole nine yards because selling in school actually wasn't allowed when, when, when I was doing it. And I only got suspended once, but I didn't think that was so bad. And my parents agreed it wasn't so bad seeing as I made thousands and thousands of pounds from it. But I'm not recommending you guys break any school rules. I don't want you to break any school rules. So do not listen to me. All I will say is there are other things that you can do that will pay off a lot more than just selling sweets and getting suspended, even though, you know, I, I kind of recommend it. I do recommend it, but don't do it. I recommend it. But don't do it if it's going to break school rules and get you. Now, I know there are things that wasn't even a thing for me when I was 14, like Shopify and, and, and print on demand, stuff like that. That wasn't really a thing. And I'm going to take all of that into account. But nonetheless, this is just what this is just what I would do. And it makes so much sense. And look, you don't have to listen to my advice. You can completely ignore it. But I mean, it's pretty good advice. So I would start by asking myself, what do I enjoy? I'm 14 years old. What do I enjoy? So I enjoyed when I was 14, I still enjoy, but I enjoyed photography. I enjoyed cars. I enjoyed art. I enjoyed shoes. I enjoyed fashion. I enjoyed tech. I enjoyed business. I enjoyed all these things being a 14 year old kid. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you what I enjoy? Well, this is going to become apparent very, very soon and it is important. So now that I've told myself I don't really need money, I need to kind of figure out what it is I'm gonna do that doesn't require me to go to college or university or have any sort of further education. And I need to figure it out, right? I need to figure out what it is as a 14 year old, what can I do? What advantages do I have being 14 years old? Well, what's the biggest advantage? Time. Time is the number one advantage of being 14 years old. In fact, you've probably got more time on your hands than you're ever going to have again in your entire life because things only get more stressful the older you get with exams, being in school and then leaving school and having a job, looking for properties, renting, starting a family, all of these things. You're never gonna have as much time as you have now as a 14 year old. And you don't need to worry about whatever, like succeeding. Whatever it is you get into right now, you don't need it to make millions. You just, you don't because you don't have the bills, right? You don't have, you, you don't have all of this stress of needing to succeed so you can survive because I assume you're living with your parents or with like some form of guardian. So because all of that stress and all of that worry doesn't exist for you, you've just got all the time in the world, minus obviously the time you have for extracurricular activities and school and stuff. You've got a lot of time left over to pursue something. And what is the one thing that I, I think takes a lot of time to pursue, but it pays off big time. YouTube, 
Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking multiple things. And you know what, I've written a list of what I think you're thinking. You're probably thinking, I have no idea how to make YouTube videos. You're probably thinking, I don't wanna post my face all over YouTube. People will take the absolute piss out of me. You're probably thinking, I have no idea what to even make videos about. You could be thinking, my parents won't let, or why would I succeed? Or I don't care about being on YouTube. It doesn't excite me, I have no interest. If you're thinking any of those six things, then let me explain. Let me, let me squash those worries quickly and, you know, try and try and get down to the more important things. Well, the first one is you have no idea how to make YouTube videos. Well, all you need is an iPhone and most of you probably have an iPhone or a Samsung or something. And to be honest, most of you probably know a lot more about tech than I do. So when it comes to shooting a video and editing a video, you can use apps like LumaFusion, iMovie. You know, there, there are tons and tons of different apps and I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. You guys are the tech geniuses of the generation. So you know well more than me, well better than me, how to you know shoot a video and edit a video so that shouldn't be an issue now what was the second problem well the second problem is you don't want to post your face all over youtube you're scared that your friends will take the piss out of you and i understand that in fact i started youtube after school and my friends still took the piss out of me stop caring what other people think of you honestly like if your friends are taking the mickey out of you and they're doing it on a serious level where they're not actually your friends then they've got a lot of deep-seated issues there and they're going to have a lot more problems down the line in life than you are ever going to have. So do not listen to haters, especially if they're in your face, all right? Just completely ignore them. And the actual real friend that will take the mickey out of you, it will just be banter and you can joke about it with them because at the end of the day, it is funny. My friends found it funny, I found it funny that I was on YouTube, I was creating these videos. It is, it is humorous. So don't let that discourage you okay and if there are bullies and there are mean kids in your school then just know they have a lot bigger problems on their hands and that is why they're taking it out on you everyone gets bullied in school some way or another i got bullied in school bullies suck but that is that is the life of being in school and unfortunately it is a problem and i would love to squash all of bullies all, all bullying and all that kind of thing but you know what, it is, it is very difficult. So the only thing I can say is you've just got to ignore it and you've got to know that what you're doing is so much better and so worthwhile that down the line, they're just gonna regret it and they're gonna be the ones, you know, struggling financially, struggling emotionally, struggling in many different ways, whereas you are going to be on your high. Now, number three is you think you have no idea what videos to do, what to, like, I don't know, what, what should you make videos about? Well, this is why I told you my passions. 14 years old, what do I enjoy? So I enjoyed when I was 14, I still enjoy, but I enjoyed photography, I enjoyed cars, I enjoyed art, I enjoyed shoes, I enjoyed fashion, I enjoyed tech, I enjoyed business. I enjoyed all these things being a 14 year old kid. Write all that stuff down and I can create a YouTube channel in any of those areas, really, really easy. I could talk about cars for years, I could talk about business for years, I could talk about fashion for a long time. Like. You get my point. You probably have some form of interest. You have something that excites you. You have something that interests you. Talk about it, right? Share your interest in it. But even if you don't know what to talk about, you can talk about generic stuff. For example, I also love tech. You can easily do tech reviews of you know the latest product. For example, all your friends, you probably get the latest iPhones or I don't know, the latest technology, iPads, computers, whatever they may be. Maybe they don't, but if you do, you can simply ask your friend, hey, can I just borrow this? for an hour so I can make a little video review on it. Do you mind? And why would anyone care? People won't mind. They'll hopefully try and support you. Now, number four is your parents don't want you to do it. This is a tough one because at 14, you know, you kind of still let your parents win. But what I would say to you is have a mature sit down conversation with your parents and explain to them why you want to do it. Explain to them that doing it will you know, be actually beneficial for you in the long run and that wasting your time doing X, Y, and Z, Z, whatever, is not actually beneficial for you. And, you know, like kind of explain to them that it's actually a really, really good thing and down the line it will be really, really good for you. And if they still say no, then I'm actually baffled and let me know in the comments because I would happily talk to them for you because I think it's ridiculous. Now, number five, are you worried you won't succeed? And that's, again, a fear of a fear of failure is, is a huge fear and, and and I mean I've experienced that I know most people I know have experienced that and it's it's a good point now the thing is though the thing is you have got time on your hands and what this business needs 
is consistency and time. And for example, if you start it when you're 20 and you, you, you won't have the time, you're going to need the money, and you're not going to make the money for a couple of years and you're thinking, well, you know, I can't do this. Whereas being 14 years old, you've got all the time in the world, you've got six years until you are 20. In six years time, you could have a thriving YouTube account, right? And even if you think there's lots of competition, people will want to listen to you. They'll want to take, they'll want to hear your take on things. All right. So just stay consistent with it. Create interesting content. Try and be as entertaining as possible. And I'm telling you, right, if you stay, if you stick with it, right, if you use your time wisely and you stick with it, there is no reason why you won't succeed with it. You make your own luck. Okay. The more videos you post, the more chance you have of getting lucky and actually Get one of your videos going viral. So it's about laying the seeds now so that down the line your videos can get a lot more traction. Now, number six, you don't care about being on YouTube. It doesn't excite you. That is, that's a fair point. That is really a fair point. And what I would say is, you know, it's, you're still very young to decide what you want to do in the future, but sit down and have a think what you want to do when you leave school. Is it college? Is it university? Do you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or whatever it is? You want to be a business owner? whatever it may be, have a think about things that you might want to do and use this time between the ages of 14 and 18 to get further educated in these areas because in school you're not going to learn about proper business stuff. You're not going to learn about you know taxes and mortgages. You're not going to learn about anything lawyer or doctor related. So get ahead of the game. You don't necessarily need to be making money, but you could definitely earn knowledge. Knowledge is the best form of money. The more knowledge you have, the more chance you're opening yourself up to opportunities down the line. So as a 14 year old, if you don't want to start a business, something like YouTube or something like that, then start gaining knowledge by reading, by taking online courses, by watching YouTube videos, stuff like that. Now, I just want to say a few extra things. If I would have started at 14, when I left school at 18, I would probably go straight into property because I think property is really, really, really good to go into. And if you're thinking, well, how the hell are you going into property at 18? Well, I started my YouTube at 14 and from the ages of 14 to 18, it's been building up and building up and building up and it's gotten this big. Now, I didn't start YouTube at 14. I'm giving you a scenario. If I did start YouTube at 14, right, that's four years of YouTube. When you turn 18, you could potentially have a YouTube channel big enough that could actually house your portfolio property, uh, property portfolio. All right. And another thing I would do at the age of 14 is learn about basic life things like mortgages, property, credit cards, money management, finances, all these areas, taxes, you know, car finances, all these things which I wish they would have taught in school and they don't. I really, really, really wish they would have. But besides the point, you can use this time to learn about all these things and I guarantee you, you will not regret it. I'm even thinking of starting a podcast aimed for kids you know, around 12 to 18, teaching them about all these other aspects that are really, really important, like the ones I just mentioned, plus many, many more. So to end this video, I want to give you two examples that can hopefully motivate you. One example is of someone who took the plunge and created a YouTube channel. And one example is someone who hasn't yet taken that plunge, but has the capabilities to do so. I want you to look at this person. This person is Financial Wolf on YouTube. He's got over 50,000 subscribers. He's a kid in school and he's absolutely crushing it. If kids made fun of him, who cares, right? From the research I've done, it looked like he started his YouTube channel when he was 16 years old. And I'm sure the kid took the absolute piss out of him. But you know what? You know what? It doesn't matter because he is earning a serious income, right? He's earning a serious income and he's still in school. So, I mean, that should just, that should just, that should sell it for you. He is talking about things he loves. He loves business. And you might be thinking, well, what's a 16 year old doing talking about business? And you know what? His stuff is actually really, really good and I really enjoy it. So there's no reason why adults and people can't learn from someone younger than them. And I like literally hats off to him for crushing it on YouTube. Now, let's look at this person. This is actually someone I know. He started skateboarding and he started an Instagram account and he has gotten good so fast. I'm just, I'm in shock at how good he's gotten at skateboarding. Literally, literally, he's gotten so flipping good at skateboarding. And a part of me just wishes he would have started a YouTube channel journey of him going from not being able to skateboard to where he is now because that would have been really really interesting to watch and i'm sure so many people would have enjoyed that now he seems incredibly passionate about skateboarding and that is a great great niche to be in on youtube i know a whole bunch of skateboarders 
who are on YouTube and they are doing so, so well. I mean, you've got this person and this person, it's just, it's mad, right? They have hundreds and thousands of, of subscribers and they get sponsorship deals, they get everything. And they are literally doing what they love. So this, there's, there's just so, there's so much potential basically to build a YouTube channel um, around this topic. And I've told him that he should do it. So hopefully he actually listens and he actually gets on with it. <laughs> It opens up so many doors for you. So Shimmy, you've got the same name as me, I know it's weird, but Shimmy, if you are listening or watching this video, go and start your YouTube channel about skateboarding, how to do tricks, uh, your journey, you know, all of it, just going to the skate park, just chilling with the guys, skateboarding or the girls, whatever. People wanna see it, you've got a unique story, you've got, you've got a unique perspective on it, so just share it and people wanna see it. Oh, and by the way, if it wasn't apparent, he's an awesome upcoming skateboarder, so definitely go and check out his Instagram because it's really, really cool, and I'd love it if he got thousands and thousands of followers and you know made it big time, even pro skater, that'd be, that'd be very cool. Well, what was the point of those two examples? Well, besides trying to motivate you, it was also trying to explain to you the fact that these two people have kind of the same ability. They have the same they have the same ability to create a YouTube channel, basically, is what I'm saying. And they have the same amount of time on their hands, and it's just a matter of how they decide to use their time. So, like I said, Shimmy's using his time as a skateboard, but it's super easy just to slap a camera on and talk to it whilst you're doing that and explain a trick here or there. So it's just about using your time and how you use it, but everyone has the opportunity to actually create a YouTube channel in something that they enjoy doing. So I hope you liked this video. I hope I was able to motivate you even just a tiny bit. Let me know in the comments down below if if you thought this was cool, if you thought, you know, this is something that you could potentially do, I would love to know. And, and again, if there's any way I can support you creating a YouTube channel or in school or something, then let me know. And I'm here, I'm answering questions. And uh, yeah, so thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.